husband and I uh, purchased a Serta i-series king-size mattress. It'll be just two years and a couple weeks. And we bought, purchased it from Gardner White. A couple weeks after we got it, you know, we thought it was great and everything. And within the first three months, we already had to call them once to have them check it because it was developing quite a large lump right in the middle of the mattress. And it was becoming increasingly more uncomfortable to sleep on. So Gardner White sends their little team out uh, with this quite antiquated uh, testing process, if you will, of these weights and a foam, a uh, piece of foam that they put across the mattress and they check it all out and measure and they tell you that they are going to send the report in and they will let you know what they determine. So this was th literally three months after we purchased the mattress. So a few days later we got a phone call from customer service at Gardner White stating that it was not defective. And uh, so please let us know if it doesn't resolve and we'll come back out and remeasure it. So fast forward, about eight or nine months later, it was so bad and we called again. They came out, the lump testing team uh, arrived again at the house uh, and again performed this uh, very peculiar method of testing a mattress. Um, I don't know how it's scientific or factual or whatever. And uh, this gentleman says, well, yeah, um, it is definitely defective, but it's not quite defective enough to, to be covered under, under warranty. So we got upset, not going to say that we didn't, and we called customer service at Gardner White, and we were told that CERTA didn't actually make the determination that it wasn't covered under warranty. This is Gardner White's technically trained CERTA team that makes the decision. They're Gardner White employees, but they're highly trained, according to them, by CERTA to make a determination. So they turned this report in the second time now to CERTA, and CERTA came back and said, no, it is not defective enough. Call us in a few more months, and we'll come back out and measure it again. OK. Now we are going on last week. So fed up with this mattress because it's gotten worse and worse. My, my six-year-old calls it the hill. She has to lay on the hill if she's laying in bed with us. My husband and I literally have to lay on as far to the right as we possibly can, one on one side and one on the other, never to meet in the middle in this $2,300 mattress that we bought, thinking we were making the greatest investment. We finally can afford a really top of the line mattress, so we thought. Fire beware, we did not do our homework like we should have. I mean, honestly, if we saw the reviews, we would have never purchased it from, from Gardner White or this mattress, per se. So, had them come out again last week because my back and my hips hurt so bad that I just had two injections on the 17th of May in my lower back and in my right hip because the pain is so bad because I'm literally laying like my, my hips are like this in bed at night. So the super cool lump detector came back out on Thursday of last week, did the same thing. In fact, this time I videotaped it. I, I asked him, or I didn't ask him, I basically told him, I'm going to videotape this for my own records. And he immediately said, I'm not comfortable with being on video. I said, okay, that's fine. I won't put your face on here, but I want to show that you've been here to, to show America that you did this great test again. And, you know, same thing. Two days later, we get a call from Gardner White Customer Service saying that the report came back and, geez, we're so sorry. It just isn't bad enough. So at this point, you know, my husband and, and I are just beyond frustrated we asked to speak to a supervisor. He got put on hold, and I kid you not, for 15 minutes. Nobody would, she kept picking him up, putting, hanging up, hang, you know, putting him back on hold, hanging up, putting him back on hold. So my husband called from another phone to the main line. Again, asked to speak to, to a supervisor. Finally, we got 
a supervisor. And, you know, they just, they're so trained to just say everything that they possibly have been told to say. They don't give you any real answers. It's just this canned response over and over and over again. It doesn't meet the criteria. It doesn't meet the warranty specifications. But then, you know, again, we said, well, was this a CERTA decision or was this a Gardner White decision? She says, well, this was a Gardner White decision because, again, our highly trained lump detectives can make the decision for us. So we said, no, no, no. We want CERTA to make this determination. We want to know when we're going to get an answer, when we should expect a phone call. She couldn't give us anything other than, well, we'll submit the report, sir, and, you know, we'll just see what they have to say. And, and that's where we left it.